dog. Okay, let me see your dog. All right, we have victim number one. Ah! This dog here wants to do everything but what you want, ah, want to do. So what we got to do is we've got to teach boundaries. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's got treats. Ah. Back up. You're going to work for the treat. Back, back, back. Good. Come. Stand. Oh, very nice. Okay, this is body language here. When I stand up, this means stay. When I lean forward, see, I don't even have to say anything to this dog now. This, this dog wants to jump so bad. Okay, so I'm standing up. Now watch what happens when I lean forward and walk backwards. See how tight that lead is? I don't want to see any tight leads. You can bump them over and drop it down. Very good. Very ah, good. See, she's not shy or scared. Your posture needs to be up like this. Because if it's up like this, then your dog is strutting like that. If you're hunched over like this, your dog's going to be squatty as it's gating. So what you should do is kind of ignore what the dog is doing. Loose lead. Let's go. And have the dog loose with your hand down like this. See how much smoother that is? Good. See the difference there? Now if it's tight, the dog's fighting you and doing this. So I want you to completely ignore that you have a dog on this lead. All I want you guys to do is concentrate that you have a glass of water in your hands. Forget about the dog. Okay, so take your dog. Got it? Yep. Take your dog all the way around to the end. No, go with her. <laughs> now the dog wants to come with me. Look at that, guys. Beautiful. Give her a hand. Didn't that feel better? All the way around to the end. Come back. Why did he take off with a leap? No, because he wasn't going to no. the late start. Ah. No. Ah. See, he doesn't respect you. When you get over to the end, ah, ah, back up, back. Come on, come on. When you get him, stop looking at him. Stop eyeballing him. When you get him to the end, you need to do that head straight. And by the time you get back to me, I want the head straight. Come on, Claude. This way. Over here. Stand. Good. Very nice. Head straight. Good. See how he's better for me now? Each time is a little better and a little better. That's good. Now, you're going to go back to mom and you're going to be good. Okay? Okay, very nice. Okay, come here, Mom. Now, with confidence, don't look at him. I want you to back away. Ah, settle. Settle. I want you to back away and slowly and smoothly take him around to the end. There you go. Good job. Okay, so that's what you should be training this dog on. Stop, where's your hand? As Soon as you got to the end, you said, I don't trust you. If you take your hand in between you and the judge, there's no pressure on this dog. How many of you have dogs that just take off and wanna go, okay? That's because you start like this and boom, it's a race. But it's not a race, okay? If you're in this position right here and you back away like this, now you can turn and go, just like this. When you want him to turn in, look what happens when I turn my hand in. It's like magic. I don't have to steer it over like that. That's pretty good, huh? Drop your hand down. Not close to your body, just drop it down. Beautiful. Now bring your hand back to the judge. Ignore that you have the dog. Drop your hand down. There it is. There it is. Drop it down. Beautiful. Very nice. Okay, who's your dog focusing on? Me. Right, who should he be focused? Do do? Exactly. And the reason for that is because you keep focusing on him, so he thinks he needs to focus on you. This dog here looked absolutely beautiful, but when it came back to the judge, it focused on her and not me. Why did it do that? What, she at the dog? Because she keeps looking at the dog. Exactly. 
Now the other thing too is its gate started to go off. Why did its gate go off? Because you keep raising your hand and looking at the dog. Yeah. So you guys have to keep your hands right in the same spot. It takes this much to throw the dog's gate off. Take this dog all the way around to the end. Nope, come back. Okay, she will give you guys $500 every time she looks at this dog. Okay, take this dog around. Look at the difference there. Woo, Woo that is awesome. Great, look at that right there, guys. Doesn't that look beautiful? Once we take charge and put them in the place where they need to be, they're the dogs. We're the people. We're the superior ones. Once we do that, they will love you more than they've ever loved you in their entire life because they respect you. Okay, let's see it down and back. What did you do, Sue? What are you doing now? Yeah. <laughs> Good, good. Now bring your hand back to me. Look at this, guys. That is beautiful. Don't look. That was gorgeous. Give her a hand. That was absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so I want you to take your dog all the way to the end. Do not look at the dog. Look at this attitude right there. And the dog, too. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? Give her another hand. That is beautiful. Okay, this dog has confidence. This is not a soft dog. This dog is not afraid. This dog right here has got your number and knows what button to push. So you've got to do the same thing as what these guys are doing here. You've got to do on that table several times a day at home. Head straight, head straight. If the dog stops fighting you, then that dog is ready to show. Down and back. I know the big bear. Oh, that looks good. Oh, that's good. Okay, down and back again. Don't wait, just go. Beautiful. Oh, look at this. Okay, let the dog come to me. Now you stop. Does it get any better than that? Woohoo! Give her a hand all the way around. That was gorgeous. We're gonna take these dogs around two at a time. Okay, first two, go. Back around to the end. Okay, next two. Next two. You gotta be careful, you're running out of room. Okay, next two. You do three? Three, next three. Smooth, smooth, drop your hand down. Beautiful. Okay, now, we get a chance, that was really, really good, but it was not the best. We're gonna change that, okay? Some of you are taking off old style, where you just take off. When you do that, your dogs are like, woohoo, let's go and play. So get in front of that dog, back away. When it's straight, turn and go. Keep your hand down low so it can read that hand signal. Okay, let's take the first three. Let's take you around. Oh my God, that was so much better. That one got away from you just a little bit. Both those two. Woo, that was this dog. Um, let me see. Um, that two. About two years old? He doesn't like men. Okay, put him on the table. Thank you, my dear. Okay, what we're going to do is this dog is not coming up to the judge. So what we're going to do is we need to establish a little bit more leadership here. So this dog trusts her. So we're gonna come in with these two fingers right here, the one closest to the pinky and the one we use when we drive our motor cars. So, <laughs> some of you got that. Okay, and we're gonna scoop in from underneath, in the front, instead of holding high up, closing off the throat. And that leaves our thumb and our forefinger available so we can go head straight, head straight. Now, is this dog truly afraid of men? 
What would this dog do if it was truly afraid of men right now? Bite it'd bite me or it'd be off the table. This dog's fine. So all that stuff down there is an act. Okay. okay. He's pretty smart. Oh, he's extremely. Now, I just did something where I went on the top of the head, which I normally wouldn't do. Did this dog even flinch? No. This dog is not afraid of men. Okay. Okay. This dog knows how to push your buttons. Yeah, he does. Okay. So what I want you to do is every three to three or four times a day, I want you to put this dog on the table and say, head straight, head straight. Okay. When you come into the judge, I want you to have confidence. And if he does something, I tell him, knock it off, head straight. Okay. And then he won't relate to the head straight right now because he hasn't had it enough. No, no, no. But eventually when you say head straight, he'll pop that head straight. So take it. Then I'm going to come in this way and make my box this way. He will start to respect you. Looking at that, you have the most perfect round like this. It creates.